Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Liptier20 and welcome back to Minecraft on our base of Sarar World. Today's episode is going to be mainly focusing on building this castle up a bit more, as well as farm for the end, get some potions, and the rice, that sort of stuff. But before we continue on with that, I just want to show you guys what we got so far, as far as the castle goes. We got like the nice little leaves to look like bushes, got some rose bushes, some flowers. Just have it make it look a little nice, a little cozy right here so you can see out and be like, wow, look how beautiful that, uh, well, I guess trees are. We need to add some more stuff. But I also added a nice little like carpet right here. So it's kind of like a proper throne. Like you walk in, it's like, oh, there's the king. And then down here, I did extend out this wall a little bit more. I thought it would look a little better which in my opinion it does i kind of have a hole there but we uh have a nice little wall i'm gonna do the same thing over here kind of mimic it a little bit and then build more so the walls up there and the last thing i really did was add a little bit of glow berries here i thought it just looked nice give it a bit of ruin vibes we might make this more so like a ruined tunnel have it be a bit mossy and whatnot just make it seem like it's been here for like thousands of years or something like that well it's probably more so hundreds in reality terms but I think thousand sounds cooler. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to have like these be our windows right here and kind of matches where our little pillars of logs are. So that way it kind of makes it look a little nicer, but that should allow a lot of like natural light to go into the building here. And we can have a nice for like our feasting and over there, same thing with our storage room. All right. So this is what I was thinking. I think we have like two small little windows right here. And then these two can be like bigger windows, but I didn't need to extend it out a little bit just to make it look a little nicer. So we will need to kind of add some more walls and extend this out by one and do the same thing on that side. All right. I got that all fixed up on this side. I think I might make this about three blocks taller. I think that's what I'll do to make it look a bit nicer. And then we'll have like a giant table, get some food and whatnot all situated up in here. All right. I think this looks pretty good so far. So we got, like I said, the tiny windows and the bigger windows. And then what we can do later on is like add some decoration, make it look nice. I think in here we'll have like a nice chandelier above the table. And if this is an odd number wall, we could have like a dragon head set above, kind of like a uh, slayed beast type of thing. And yeah, then back here, I think what we'll do is we'll have it be a little kitchen area, just kind of corner off this little section, something like that. Let's see, we're going to need to get some more glass and some more like wooden logs, which luckily I've been growing like a giant tree this whole entire time. I usually use the bone meal to do it, but I figured while I was working on the wall, we can just have this grow naturally. So let's grab some of the wood and then get some glass. You know, I think I like this design that's going on. It gives it a bit more, like, detail. I actually need to fix that one. That's, uh, not correct, but I think it gives it more detail. Allows it to look a bit more, uh, textured in a sense. Oh, yeah, this looks, like, a lot better. Gives it that more detail look. Gives it that little pop to it that we are kind of looking for in our builds. I think, however, I'm going to kind of call it there for the castle for now. So let's go out, explore, see how much ender pearls we have left, and then start making potions and whatnot and start preparing for the end. So it looks like all together we have six ender pearls, which isn't bad. That's pretty good, but kind of want to get a little more just to make sure we're good with the portal as well as like ender chest and any type of teleportation we want to do later on just helps out a lot all right here we see some wired ender men in their natural habitat trying to mind their own business when all of a sudden they were attacked by me oh well i actually just sent them to the shuttle room so i'm thinking if we get like a stack of ender pearls we should be pretty good i just need to kind of like have these guys start attacking me because they're just kind of walking around doing nothing. I hate how these guys teleport so much after you just hit them, especially when they're on fire. I kind of wish we had a sword that wasn't a uh, fire aspect sword, but you know, we gotta work with what we got. All right, we just need to get six more, which hopefully we can get from these last few that are like teleporting around me. All right, that's four more. And we should be pretty good to go after that. All right, we just need one more. Where'd that guy go? I hit one person, but he ran away. Oh, there he is. He's trying to uh, make his way to me. Ah, uh, come on, stop teleporting. All right, please don't run away. Please stay near me. Where are you? And there you are. Perfect. Get over here. Where'd you go? Somewhere there. All right. And perfect. Ooh, we got an extra. Oh, God, we got like five from that one. Or not five, four of them. That is pretty good. So let's make our way back home. Let's start getting prepared to go to the end now. You know, one thing that I think would be pretty cool to have in the future would be to get, like, a mushroom biome. So that way we can get, like, the mushroom cows, bring them home, get some, like, brown mushrooms. And I think if you feed them flowers, you get, like, suspicious stew and you can get, like, the regenerative one. I think that's with, like, the yellow flower, the dandelions, but... I'd have to, I had to search that out to make sure that I'm correct with that uh, assumption. All right, it looks like we're going to need some more sand if we want to make some potions. I'm going to go with the simple ones, you know, get the uh, 
health potions and strength pots. I don't think we need anything else. Although it would be pretty useful to get some glass bottles so we can get some of that dragon's breath within it. Because not only is that going to be useful if we want to make like lingering potions in the future, which I don't think we'll do, but it will also be useful for getting rid of dragon's breath when it fires it because it's just so annoying to deal with it. All right, so I have a stack of glass cooking already, but I'm going to get some more cobblestone so that we were able to just melt a bit more with some more furnaces. So let's kind of place down our cobble and start breaking it. All right, while well, that's melting those nice little, little stacks, let's get our energy chest set up because we're going to need that in the future. Uh, good, we do have enough obsidian and we can start making it. So if I remember correctly, I had to take the blaze powder, make a eye of ender, and then that's how I make it let's see yes perfect i didn't know if i needed just like a normal ender pearl or just an eye of ender so i'm not going to use the interest just yet i'll use that for when we go to the end go to like the end cities and whatnot get some of their loot and then like if we can't find our way back we can just kill ourselves just have our stuff inside the interest and call it a day there but let's see gonna need some melon i think i'm gonna make like two sets of each potion so i'm gonna need some melons for like the glycerin melons and then for the strength pots, let's see, what did that take again? I need to look. Uh, let's see, strength. We just need blaze power. Okay, never mind. That's uh, pretty simple. All right, let's do this for the melons. And then we just gotta wait for the glass to mainly smelt at this point. All right, let's make some bottles with all the glass that we got. Ooh, we got 54. So if we're making sort of two sets of each. We're gonna need, I think, 12 bottles altogether. You know, I just realized one thing that we will need to do is get a nice, lowly, powerful bow. Because I think the only bow we have is like a power four, which is good, but not great. Yeah, just power four. So let's see. Do we have any regular bows? No, we're going to have to make some or, you know what? We should have some inside the, uh, inside the XP farm. All right. Yeah, we have a good few bows in here. I'm kind of just sticking them inside this chest. So that way we just have enough space, which we should need all these bows, but... You never know, just just for safety measures. And then I think mainly with my main bow here, we're going to have it be a mending bow just to make it easier to repair, as well as the fact that we have that uh, lovely little, well, you can't see it now, but that lovely little XP farm giving us like thousands of arrows, basically. So we don't have to worry about any arrow consumption or anything like that for a while now. All right, let's see what these three bows will give me. Ooh, power four. Okay, we can combine that. We got another power four. Ooh, that one's better. And last one is a flame. Ooh, okay, this is the best one so far. Let's So let's kind of get rid of these two and then keep this one. We can use that for the, uh, as a base foundation because I think all we're missing now is just punch. Yep, got one mending book right here. And now we can just make our bows into a best bow ever. You know, it's kind of weird seeing all my, uh, all my XP just disappear now because I had like up to 50 and now it's just gone. Uh, we need to rename the bow because we actually had a better enchant. But there we go. We got a nice little powerful bow, which we should not have to worry too much about repairing it. Although now we just need to make sure we have a lot of arrows on us. Well, maybe not a lot, but at least like two stacks worth. All right, that's one batch of potions complete. Now we just need to finish up the last three. All right, we got our second batch here. I'm just going to throw it inside the chest. And then we just have the strength pots and we should be good to go exploring after that. All right, got the third line of potions. Going to place that right underneath our nice little health pots. And yeah, all right, then there we go. That's the last little bit of potions right there. So now all that is left for us to do is just use the eye of ender so that way we can find the ender portal so that way we can fight the ender dragon but we gotta do that next episode because we kind of had a lot going on today we finished quite a lot of work on the walls right here got some potions and started gearing up for a nice lovely little battle so if you guys did like the video please like comment subscribe and without the way i will see you guys next time bye bye